just kind of makes you think that even after 2020, I'm curious if the National Park Service will consider something like a reservation system for really busy parks like Yosemite, just to be able to preserve a little bit more of the feeling of nature. Hi everybody. Today, I swear we are trying to get into California's most exclusive club in 2020. It's called Yosemite National Park. <laughs> There's some major fires in the area coming down from Lassen National Park here. Sounds like maybe no issue today, but that might be our first little speed bump is figuring out how to get out of the Cascades and into the Sierra Nevada. Okay, so if you're curious why we're in Nevada, it's a good time to talk about how to get to Yosemite. There's relatively few passes all the way over the Sierra Nevada. So if you're showing up to Yosemite, you either arrive from the east, which is what most people do from Los Angeles or San Francisco or most of the population areas of California. We're actually arriving from the... Shit, I got that backwards. Well, you head east into the park from the west or you come in to the east side from the west or heading west. So we're doing the second one. We're coming from the Nevada side <laughs> through the highest vehicle pass in California. It's called Tioga Pass. So we are just about to make it to the ranger station at the entrance of Yosemite National Park. The most important thing to remember if you want to go to Yosemite in 2020 is you need a reservation to get in. You cannot just show up. So what are you supposed to do for your reservation? It says to fill out a self-certification form. Where is that? I don't know. The two things you need to get into Yosemite, number one is your reservation, and number two, we're using an annual pass so that we don't have to pay actual cold hard cash in the entrance gate. Here's the weird thing. There was nobody manning the gate. Lots of verbiage about how you need a reservation and how you need to self-certify, so I don't really know exactly what that means. Hi, question for you. Um, we came in through Tioga. Do we need to certify our registration or our that sort yeah. of thing? They're probably not there because of the lightning. Yeah. And you guys have a day use reservation? Yeah. We do. Yeah, I mean, if you, whenever you leave, you know, if you if there's a ranger in the box, got it. Just, show just, them the pass and... just tell them what happened. Okay. Okay. Tell them you came in. You know, the rangers weren't there. Down here in the Yosemite Valley, obviously the tourist epicenter of California, if not the United States in the summertime. Uh, it's not so bad, it looks a little busy. So we were just talking about, it's almost weird to me that it feels like Yosemite's kind of set up to be a freeway in the valley here and to be able to manage four million people but at the same time it kind of feels like they're better at handling big crowds too what do you think it's like a, one of the higher visited parks and most people just come to the valley floor so it's not even like oh hey we're gonna like go to different corners of the park it's like y'all are just coming to this point right here which honestly makes me feel more comfortable about their system being set up to accommodate COVID, <laughs> you know? We forgot to tell you the main reason that we're here in Yosemite today is that Matthew's gonna free solo El Cap, so tune in everybody. A little busy. Yeah, not like 
it normally is though. Exited the Yosemite Valley Freeway here at the <laughs> Yosemite Village. Mask up. Hey, put your mask on. I gotta find a maze. It's on my way through the maze here. Into the Yuani Hotel, which is utterly gorgeous here in the uh, park. But if for a while it wasn't called the Yuani Hotel, I forget what they called it. It was something dumb like the Hotel at Yosemite. Tell me really quick why the name Awani is important. Or why uh, people were mad. Because it's the name of this hotel since uh, it was built a long time ago. It's just like a tradition. It's, uh, you know, kind of like saying, hey, we're going to change the city of Los Angeles to something else. Um, it almost wasn't called the uh, Awani Hotel as of a few years ago. Uh, the, the developer who was running it at the time decided they would trademark the hotel name and take it away from the uh, NPS. Kind of kind of a big deal because, you know, it's a national park system. You shouldn't have to trademark Death Valley or Lava Beds, you know, and if someone comes in and wants to monopolize off of it, it was purely out of greed. So, you know, that's the only reason they really wanted it. So just my two cents, whether you're a Californian or not, or an architectural historian or not, the name Awani was so central to the idea of what this place was in the park that it played in the park, that when somebody tried to, first of all, take it away and then charge money or use it as leverage. Against the national park system. Didn't go very well. I think enough social media pressure forced the company to give the name back to the national park system, which then they did some trademark working so that it'll always stay with the hotel, no matter who operates it. So uh, cheers to social media for uh, getting the name back. Happy to be back at the Awani. Peace out, Delaware North. Okay, so clearly we figured out how to get into Yosemite, but now the bigger question is how do we get out of Yosemite? So just to be clear, I think regardless we'll be able to leave the park, but if we want to come back tomorrow because our reservation is valid for seven days, we have to certify that we were here today, and we still haven't found a ranger that is capable of doing that for us yet. All right, well, we're officially out of the park. Why don't you flip it really quick and see if you can Either grab one of the registration things or see if there's a person in the box, which it doesn't look. There we go, after our self certification. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Done. So we just need to fill this up. Cool. It's easy. Hey everybody, and good morning from the Stanislaus National Forest and our free campsite 15 minutes from Yosemite National Park. Quick over under from our experience yesterday, honestly, no big deal to get into Yosemite in 2020. I won't downplay the reservation system. It does book up. Make sure you plan ahead, even if it's one day in advance to make sure you wake up in the morning and get your tickets. All in all, the experience was really pleasant. Of course, the park was drop dead gorgeous. And honestly, the reduced numbers of people was relaxing. It still was busy, uh, to tell you the truth. There were lines for stuff and it was sometimes close quarters. It just kind of makes you think that even after 2020, I'm curious if the National Park Service will consider something like a reservation system for really busy parks like Yosemite, just to be able to preserve a little bit more of the feeling of nature. So that's for the future to decide. But today we have our permit filled out 
self-service and we have a whole full day to check out the rest of Yosemite National Park. Some stuff maybe that you've never seen before or that I've never seen before. And by the way, we have the rest of the Sierras to explore too. So have a great day. Enjoy California or wherever you are. Bye-bye. You know what would make it look better? What's that? If you filled it up with water. <laughs> Today, we are on our way to a little surprise. So, of course, you know that Yosemite is famous for the Yosemite Valley, which is the big, stunning glacial valley with El Capitan and Half Dome and all that iconic stuff. But I bet you didn't know that there's another one of those inside the park. That one has a few surprises too, so <laughs> stay tuned.